Hey guys. guys, I'm Jen and I'm Will and if you guys are new to our channel We just bought a 2022 Alliance Avenue 32 RLS fifth wheel uh, We bought it a little over a month ago and we've been living in it full time And so today we want to give you guys a full walkthrough tour of it um, So if you haven't seen it yet, you can see what it looks like outside and inside And then we're gonna also kind of show you like how we're living in it a little bit of how we're organizing it and just making it a home Also, if you guys are new here, we make a lots of helpful RV related content we do vlogs of all of our travels, so if you're interested in any of that, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you see all of our videos in the future. Okay, so starting on the outside, first up front, it does have a fiberglass front cap, and this is painted with the um, Alliance right on the front. Personally, I really like the um, color scheme and everything they used. Um, I know you're not crazy about it as much, are you, Jen? It's growing on me. I, okay. I, one thing I'll say too is um, more than anything, I love the front cap. Yeah. I think that's really pretty and almost like, like it almost like sparkles or glistens right, out in the sun. It does, yeah. Um, so Alliance is using the Kurt Rotaflex pin box on the, um, for their fit, all their fifth wheels. And um, this is one of my favorite, you know, reasonably within price point um, because it does help with chucking and it makes it a little smoother, right? We did pair it with the Kurt uh, fifth wheel hitch, which that I absolutely love. Huge thanks to uh, Lipper for hooking us up with that fifth wheel hitch. Kurt is owned by Lipper. Lipper is an amazing company. They build some awesome products and they're, they're really all about the camping life and, and helping the community. So again, huge thanks to them for hooking us up with that underneath here windy today guys hopefully windy. the audio is okay out here yeah um underneath here we got some storage um it's got the little clips up here a pretty good storage in here um you can see it's kind of a mess in here but we got some a lot of the stuff we don't use as much um the charcoal we got two bags we put one in here this is our pizza oven which we'll definitely do a video on that because that oh, was yeah. awesome ladder um water filtration system which we haven't installed yet that'll be coming soon and just some um tennis rackets and stuff yeah and that storage might change if we Probably try well, to get because yeah. we only have one house battery right now right yeah and so um we're thinking we're, we'd love to get more batteries possibly lithium ion and yep. make it easier to boondock so that storage might change if we kind of build up that battery bank but right now it's pretty empty exactly yeah right here on the outside we got propane uh 30 pound tanks right there um and on, on both sides really i should say yeah nice speakers on the outside they did do the double awnings which was like a must for me uh you know you, you gotta have both awnings yeah. camping's about being outside this storage here when this was almost like a con for us when we first bought it because i felt like it looked small but now that we've used it it's a mess right now just because like we've had to move campsites so we just like push everything in and pull it back out but it works great for us there's always plenty of storage in here i think it's bigger than it looks um we got our totes in here some tools um or the e-bike usually goes in here and yeah i mean all the chairs everything outside that you see we're able to fit in there so the storage has actually worked out much better than i expected all right and then of course they did do a, a slam latch door on that storage there right here we have the lipper um sx solid steps which are really nice I, they're like a little bit lighter weight they're easier to adjust the feed on them and i think they have a higher weight limit um again there's that second awning nice windows on the outside alliance does not do frameless windows um because apparently there's more issues with water leaks with them they're not as well insulated and m biggest issue i've heard with them is that uh, if you have the frameless frameless windows they pop out a little bit and people have had issues with them popping out going down the road and then the wind catches the window and it breaks off well also with frameless can't you like not open it up all the Correct. way so the yeah if you want to get a cross breeze like yeah where these the whole window will slide right and see i actually prefer that because if you want to get like a nice cross breeze like today would be a perfect day to open up the windows and get that breeze coming in yeah um, so i mean the frameless look nice yeah that's the only pro that i could really find to the frameless was that they look nice yeah but i'd um, much rather have like the functional yeah benefits. functionality it doesn't make sense yeah um one huge thing for me was the running gear and they have this little label here um so we don't have to like crawl underneath but 
so they use a 10 inch steel i-beam um, and then a two inch torsion tube and what that does is disperses the weight better across the whole i-beam rather than having like really direct pressure right there where the axles are um, they are using spring hangers with v-bracket reinforcements which is really good super f uh, almost 4,000 pound rated tires um so that's been that's very very important like tires and brakes um those are you know probably the most important thing you got to watch for um they're using dexter heavy duty three and a half k springs and six thousand pound axles and of course the more i'd see 3000 giving a much better ride and to top it all off they are using the uh heavy duty half inch thick shackles and wet bolts all of that and i know that's like a bunch of just like info that to most people probably doesn't like make sense or may not matter um but just being in the industry seeing running gear issues that it is just gold right there like that's your like foundation yeah. to everything when you're traveling and so it's so important to have um, really high end running gear and so many manufacturers now they're cheaping out on axles and on um, tires especially and it's just it's not worth it so I love that they yeah you know again this is stuff that you, you don't like they always say uh, eye appeal is buy appeal this isn't eye appeal but it's the right thing to do to keep you mm -hmm. safe and I love that they did yeah. that especially if you're full timing this is like right. your house so it's like to have that foundation good is really important exactly. and also it made me think um we did uh, a whole video on why we bought yeah. Alliance and so I'm, I'll put a link to that video probably up here um, if you guys want to check that out where we go more into detail and stuff yeah. like that and like the real big reasons of why we chose Alliance versus some exactly. of the competitors yep um on the back it is prepped for a backup camera which we will be adding that we'll do a video on that um it's rated to tow 3,000 pounds or 300 pounds of vertical hitch weight um i do not ever recommend doing that you will never see me doing that um but it it's just nice knowing that their frame and their chassis and everything is designed in a way to support that much weight yeah. you know it's mm -hmm. it's if you're not towing you, you have plenty of extra yeah uh, we'll probably do a bike rack on that yeah we'll, we'll probably do a bike rack um i I love this ladder that they're doing. I on know it as well. it's different than what you see on most RVs. It is different, and it's so much more sturdy. It's like I think it's solid steel. Yeah, something. Um, it feels it feels really really sturdy. And it's higher weight capacity than everything. I am gonna go up so we can show you guys. Oh wow! Um, everything on the roof. Okay. Okay, I'm not going all the way up just to be careful, but. You can probably see from up here, it does have two AC units. Uh, it's got a wine guard digital antenna, which we'll talk about that more on the inside. And we did do the upgraded solar package. You can see that solar panel right there. Another nice thing is Alliance did build in this nice grab handle. So when you are going up and down the roof, it gives you an extra little handle to hold on to. You guys see like that looks solid coming down. Oh yeah, much better than our <laughs> <laughs> And also if you guys aren't as familiar with us, um will is the cameraman for matt's rv reviews towable so normally yeah. will's the one not the one going up on the ladder so it's <laughs> right. a little bit different today but yep. yeah he's usually filming our friend matt going up showing the roofs on all these rvs yeah one thing i forgot to mention there is a propane quick disconnect on the other side here's where you can store your sewer hose okay we just moved to this campsite so i haven't even hooked up but there's your sewer dump which is in a great position right there we added this little second valve because um every time we would take that cap off there was always some residual water sewer yeah, nobody, water sitting there nobody likes sewage water right uh it is 50 amp you guys saw two air conditioners on the roof um here's a furnace water heater right here forget how many gallons it is but um we got in a pretty good system where usually one of us will shower and then by the time they're kind of done drying off and getting dressed, it's already a whole nother tank's warm for the next person. Yeah. We don't really have hot water issues. We do don't, you. yeah. It's pretty quick recovery. Here's the other side of that pass-through storage. Yep, so there's the other side of the storage. Um, there's some of the solar hookups. Um, we have the sewer uh, hose in there, more totes. Pl again, plenty of storage in here. Something I really like, you're not gonna be able to really see that well, but Alliance gives this access panel because here's all your water connection stuff. So they give this access panel just in case something's weird or going on. You can so easily just pull this and then you can get back yeah, in there. Yeah, that's really nice. It is very nice. Just to try to like, you know, 
like service quickly. like easy things yeah or just like address you know figure out an issue and address it quickly exactly um right over here we got power um here's all your cable satellite hookups and then all your water systems for the um for all the water whether you're dry camping filling your tank city water winterization and to sanitize mm -hmm. you can turn the water pump on outside if you're using the um the water in the tank city water connection outdoor shower all your tank pools are right there and then right there is your tank flush yeah and then you can run your hose through here that yep. way you can shut this door while you're hooked up to water again slam latch door i love i love those wet bays because it's just like everything all in one area makes it really yes, easy when you're hooking up it is other side there's um more propane and then right here is the um leveling oh so it is four point electric leveling jacks okay so. Cool. cool all right you well you want to head on to the inside and yeah. i can give everyone a tour of that sounds good also this is our e-bike guys that will got me for christmas right. so we're hoping to get him one too and then we can definitely make a video kind of review we haven't used it enough i feel like to give like a really good review but right. once we use it some more we can give a review of that yeah all okay. right my turn <laughs> so this is definitely my favorite part the inside okay We've had a couple of our friends that are staying at this campground come and look at it and first impression is just always like wow like it's so bright in here um and it i think it stands out against a lot of rvs because it is just so bright like they they did a lot of light colors in here they did um and it just makes it like just like you don't even almost have to have the lights on i turned the lights on for this but like i honestly didn't need to because it's so bright, bright in here right. with the windows so over here um we have our dinette table but what i really like is that you have a booth on one side yes and then you have two chairs on the other side because i prefer a booth more um but then it gives you that option and, and i feel like it's a good depth here you know if you're sitting on this side and then the really cool thing about this dinette is this ottoman actually pulls out and i'm going to show you guys this real quick it pulls well, out number one yeah and then there's storage yeah in it so then you can you could if you wanted to you could pull it out and put it like in your living room area as like an ottoman those kati sheets those are kati sheets for the <laughs> so and then another thing i like about this dinette is that the table hooks on like at the wall over here right. instead of in the middle so when you're sitting under it like you have a lot more leg space coming over this is a theater seat which I love. I'm always sitting on this. I honestly never hardly sit on the trifold. It's more like the dog's bed and the guest bed when we pull it out. Um, and we have storage in here, which is nice. Um, really, really nice. It's not electric. It's just um, like a parachute cord, yep. um, which I'm honestly totally fine with. Because if you did, if you ever like were like not have like didn't have right, power, right. you don't have to worry about it. As you can see, really big windows. They call these like the atrium windows. Um, because you can see this one like goes down so far. Um, just really helps brighten it up in oh, here yeah. too. And I really like the balances, like they blend into the wall. They don't like stand out. Yep. Um, on all the windows you have nighttime shades that pull down and then they're really easy to just put back up. And then over here, this is our trifold sofa. So this will fold out to make a bed and it's about like a queen size bed, I would say. Um, the nice thing is I'm going to mention real quick while we're in here in this view is when you come in this fifth wheel compared to some of its competitors it feels so big and it's partially because of how light it is and all the windows but also a big part of it is it's a 101 inch wide body um so it's it's even though it might be the same length as a lot of other fifth wheels in its class um it's actually a little bit wider and it just like adds to it feeling more spacious um so up here we have storage we actually like it's crazy we have so much storage like we don't even use a lot of it i know i'm surprised i thought we were gonna be like packing it yeah, in yeah like we don't have anything up there um this is a cool little like they did like these accent lights yep um so that's really nice and then you have like sconces here and then you have these side tables over here and what i love about these is Show they didn't what you did. oh yeah what so you do Jan? i messed up one time guys and when we were the day we were leaving i put my kettlebell in there not thinking about how thin like the bottom wood is and it just fell right through when we were going down the road are you gonna fix it now my service is gonna fix it <laughs> but um what do you have to say for yourself i'm really sorry it was a bad decision 
So don't put a kettlebell or anything heavy in there. But it's supposed to be like for lighter things. But like, so what I like is, I've seen ones where they give you like a side table, but you it it doesn't come up. So like, think about all that space right. that's wasted. And granted, Good for like sheets and stuff, maybe oh, yeah. not kettlebells though. Not kettlebells. <laughs> and like, granted, we don't have a ton of things in here. Like no, we, we don't, don't. But like, some people like are like they want to maximize all of their storage. So like, to make that so you can come up, um, is really nice. And it is soft clothes on everything, even though. Yes. So. There's a Toby. Sleeping dog comes with the RV. And oh, then, and power and USB down there oh, for yeah. both sides on as both well. On both sides, yeah. Yeah, two two regular outlets and two USBs, which is really cool. Um, up here we have more storage. And I like that they did this kind of like frosted glass. Right. Um, so we got some, you know, electric electronic stuff up there. Um, and then this TV is on like a swivel mount so you can pull it out. And then we have like these four storage cubbies back here. Again, we're hardly using, you know, yeah. so much storage. Right, but again, it's nice that we were just talking to um, a friend yesterday who's in, I think a Montana, and he was saying like when they bought theirs, this was all open. And so it was hard to really like use it for storage because right. it's so open. So I like how they make the cubbies. It just makes it a little bit more usable. Um, coming down here, these are speakers. This is like your whole um, speaker system where you can play music inside outside it connects to your Bluetooth which is cool and then this is our electric fireplace um, what I really like is that this is this one's off right now so you can turn it on and actually like get heat from electricity and it will like really warm up this space in here but then a lot of times like I don't even need the heat on and you can still have the flame going just for the ambiance you know what I'm saying <laughs> um, okay and then while I'm kind of in this area too, as you can see, this is a flush floor. So in our last RV, um, it wasn't a flush floor and you had a real like hard lip where the, the edge of the, the kitchen slide was. And so, especially when you were cooking, you were like hit your toes. Yes, and everything. it was annoying. So they did flush floors on both sides, which I love. Um, just makes it, it makes it easier to vacuum too. Right, right. So that's a, that's a big thing for me. And then coming in the kitchen, um, I'll kind of like open these up so if you guys are seriously looking at this you can kind of see how much space you got. Even in the kitchen I feel like we don't use yeah. all, all the storage. I mean we're pretty minimal. We don't have a ton of stuff but then you have some space up here. The microwave cords up there so it's not a ton but definitely you can use it for some stuff. Then we kind of have our bowls and plates over here. Um, nice big microwave it's not a convection microwave which that that was something i didn't like about it, is i wish they did a convection microwave but um i'm at least happy it's a large microwave it is a like, nice it's big a microwave yeah microwave. um they did like kind of like a textured wallpaper here i think it looks really nice and you get this big window that you can open up which again i love that you can open these windows up because when i'm cooking i'll run the vent fan and i'll open that up just to get like all the smells out of here right um, this is my little coffee maker I got for the RV. And then this drawer is kind of like the coffee and spices drawer. So all that in there. I brought a lot of spices from home. Um, and then down here, just some of our like storage containers and stuff okay. like that. And then this is um, a Greystone oven. So if you're, if you're actually looking at buying this unit, um, don't think that you're necessarily going to get the same appliance brands that we got because especially with like inventory shortages going on right now it just depends on whatever they can get their hands on from microwave oven and um fridge so it might change a little bit um when you, if you guys order it or buy like obviously if you buy one you'll see and then hopefully if you order it you can get an idea of like which ones they're going to use right. it, just, it really just depends with the inventory issues right now um but it is a three burner propane cooktop and an oven and you get the little access lights which is nice and then under here is more storage so i have like a big pot under here because it's deep enough okay. and i like it because they do like the stainless steel right, look, so right. it kind of blends in with the oven um so this paper towel holder didn't come on here i can <laughs> i can definitely like start linking some of this stuff but um it, it's it worked just one, out well yeah it sticks on with a 3m strip and i put it there and it works out um, it doesn't slide off when we're driving, and it just kind of gets more stuff off the countertop. And then here is just, this is a mess, but yes. honestly, it works for us. Like, that's just where we just keep all of our cooking utensils, measuring cups, all that kind of stuff. 
And we probably could organize this better, but I mean, honestly, I can always find stuff when I need it. Yeah. And then down here is more pots and pans. Okay. Um, yeah, one thing I really liked, so on our last, our last fifth wheel was almost the exact same layout. The only difference is they had the pantry here right next to the, the entertainment center. And so the pantry wasn't there and you got like a much longer counter there. But I love how they put the pantry over there because then the space you have next to the stove is a lot, a lot more. It is. It space. really is. And quite frankly, I, I rarely use, I never really use that countertop over there. Like when I'm cooking, I'm using, I'm like around the oven. I'm like have the cutting board here and everything. Or on this island. Yeah, I'm using the island and I'm using this when I'm cooking. Yep. And so I'd rather have more countertop space here and less over there. So I think Alliance really did good with that. Um, same thing with the island. I've seen ones like, this is a good size island. It is. But if you put the sink right in the middle, you'd have like this much countertop space here and like this much here. So they put it to one side so you get this big open area. Yep. So we have to hand wash dishes. We don't have a dishwasher. So like it gives me a lot of room to put out like a, a drying mat thing and wash dishes and put them all here. And then over here, we got three door, drawers. Drawers. This is my dish drying mat. Um, got silverware and, and knives in there. It's where I keep like dish towels and stuff. And then bags and candy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> like we ran out of space for the candy. Right. In the pantry. And then this is a ton of space under here. Like yeah. I, I'm not even utilizing it all, but like, yeah, like all of our cleaning supplies and trash bags and stuff. Over here we have oh, yeah. a, I almost missed the fridge. I know. This is a Norcold um, 12 volt refrigerator, which is really nice if, if you want to do more boondocking stuff, having the 12 volt option. Um, because that, what does that mean? That'll run off your batteries, right? Yeah, yeah, especially like if we kind of um, did more batteries and, and, stuff solar and stuff for the solar, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, so it's not propane, which propane is probably the best for boondocking. But I like this because it's so quick to cool down. Yeah. And, um, you know, I don't know. It's just, in my opinion, it seems to work better than the propane electric combos did. And it uses such little energy that to me yeah. it's, it's, it's worth, worth it. it. And honestly, it's probably not as functional for us right now. If we tried to boon, we couldn't really boondock right no, now. We don't have enough not. battery. We don't have enough of a battery bank. But as we build that out, then you know, it will be more useful having yeah, a 12 volt. Yeah, for sure. And I'll just kind of give you guys a peek into, like, th there's a lot of space in here. There is. You know, we've, I mean, I feel like we've got a lot of stuff in here right now, and like, there's still room to put stuff. Right. So, um, really nice. And then here's your pull-out freezer. Um, and honestly, like, I feel like the freezer is where we struggle more with, like, having to be conservative with, like, how much stuff we put. But for an RV fridge, it's, it's actually it's great. great. It's just, yeah. like, when you compare, like, a, a normal like residential fridge in your house you have do have to like kind of be a little bit more yeah. stingy about how much freezer stuff you bring and then here's another pull out drawer which i don't have a lot of sheet pans yet but this is where i keep the cutting board and where i'll keep sheet pans and stuff cool so and then over here we have our pantry we do which, have a messy pantry why do we always have a messy pantry i don't pantry? <laughs> well it's funny because it's like it looks messy but it's like fairly organized right because it is i organized it really well when we like moved everything into this but then as we've like gotten more food it's like i don't have anywhere else to put this <laughs> um so but i mean we're I, doing okay yeah, we're doing okay we're like you know like yeah we're not doing bad it's just like there's hardly any space compared to like at home so um but i mean i was surprised with how much stuff i got in here honestly i know it's pretty good yeah yeah and then they give you this so that's one thing I, I always it? no i'm not gonna open it i can't even reach I'll it. Open it oh no god nobody cares about that so it's you know jen i think isn't crazy about it i'm like might as well you you know i mean might as well put a door on it what else is but here's my argument okay uh-huh because i'm all when we're like packing up to leave a site i'm i'm the one who's like in here putting the slides in and checking inside while i'm putting the slides in and that slide out trim comes dangerously close to that door handle like to the level where i told will we're going to be taking that at least taking that door handle off soon because it is like centimeters away from it so my i'm just like and always this is a mess if it doesn't hit it doesn't hit i know but it scares me because <laughs> if like the slide you. was ever like slightly off and like came in a little bit differently yeah. it would hit it and start breaking the trim so i just want to take it we don't use it I can't, I can't even come closer. And it goes so far back, I can't reach any of that. So it's one of those where 
I get, like, honestly, I'm fine with them putting the door there. I just think that they should have done one of those door handles where it's just, like, a notch in the actual cabinet oh, door. Oh, yeah, good instead idea. Instead of a handle because that's, like, too close for a company. Oh, especially if they did it on the bottom here where you could, like, just, oh yeah, like, lift up. That, that could have been cool. That could have been cool. So, anyway, that's, like, that's, like, one of my few complaints and it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then we have tons of storage up here. Again, we're hardly using any of it. Yeah. Got my Instant Pot. And then this is like a little cubby with another accent light. And this has become our area where we like charge, it really has. charge all like our GoPro batteries and all that stuff. So, um, and then we have, this was going to be the coffee bar area. One other thing that I realized, and we, we've been giving feedback to Alliance too, which they're very, very open with like taking our feedback and they're actually like excited to hear our thoughts. But um, one thing I told Will is I wish that the outlet for this was over here in the corner or or on the wall over here even instead of here because i was planning on putting the coffee maker here but then there's no outlet and i really didn't want to put it like out here on the edge of the counter right that just kind of felt weird and so i and that's why i ended up putting it over there but um but yeah this is kind of designed to be kind of like a coffee bar area like maybe food prep i don't really uh, we just like set like this is our what we use to filter our water right now like we don't put a lot of stuff here honestly and then, oh uh -oh. Gosh, there's a lot in there though. Here's those drawers with like, it's like our junk drawers. <laughs> junk drawers and this like manuals and stuff for the RV. And then down here, that's that's all the, that's dog the dog stuff cabinet. and my stepping stool, so we I could use that door up there. <laughs> and then this is like our fuse panel, right? Yep, fuses and breakers. Yep. Real quick, before we continue the video, we wanted to uh, give a little shout out on Saturday, this coming Saturday, which is February 5th, um, from 9 to 5, we are doing a big grand opening party celebration type thing at um, the RV1 in Jacksonville. It's a brand new store. Looks really, really nice. Um, and they're getting new inventory coming in every day. Um, it's super exciting for us to, to be a part of opening this brand new store and we just want to share with you. So we're going to be doing, um, we're going to have lots of fun stuff going on. So we're going to have giveaways. The first hundred people will get a gift card, um, $25 to, to Bass Pro. Um, obviously it's Matt's RV reviews combined with a big grand opening. Like the pricing can't get much better. So if you're looking for a good deal, that's the place to be. Um, we're going to have a food truck there. Um, all four of us, Matt, Andrea, me and Jen, we're all going to be there to meet everybody, say hi, help you um, find the right unit, answer your questions, help you get a great deal. And of course, just have like lots of fun and, and hang out with everybody. So we're super excited for that. Um, again, it's going to be at the RV1 in Jacksonville this coming Saturday, which is February 5th. Um, so we really hope to see you there. And if you're not physically able to make it there, we are doing another live stream, just like we did for the Tampa show. We're gonna have um, pricing there. We're gonna show some good units and um, just do some nice walkthroughs and, and bring them to you virtually as well. And of course, get you great price on them if you um, are virtual and, and call in. So we're really excited for these events. We hope to either see you there or um, hear you call in and, um, have some fun with you guys. All right, now back to the video. Okay, um, would you like to finish the sure, rest of the tour? Okay. Sure, can if you want. Um, so we have the shoe storage underneath there, which I thought was kind of like, like not dumb, but just like I thought we'd never use it, but it's actually come like, Oh, I thought we'd use it. <laughs> I was really excited about that yeah. actually. Oh, should we show this control panel real quick? Yes, yes, almost forgot. Um, Okay, so we'll start at the top. Right up top here is the power inverter remote control for the solar system. I don't know a whole lot about solar, but um, I might go talk to our friend Matt, not Matt from Matt's Review, he's another Matt, because he's an engineer and he knows a lot about solar. So hopefully maybe we, I can give a better explanation on that stuff later. Um, this is the thermostat for the air conditioner here and the heating system. Your interior lights, which are on a dimmer. Oh yeah, I showed that. I love that. We use that like all the time at night and everything. Yep. We got vent covers for right over the stove and oven. Um, and then this is all your control panels. So your water heater, you can do gas and or electric. This is a water pump. Um, the tank pad heaters so that during winter you can uh, keep them from freezing. Yeah. Awning lights, accent lights. I don't know what camera is. I don't know what camera is. I have to either. ask on that. Maybe that's in the front. No, I don't think there's a camera up there. Well, I don't know. Hall lights, kitchen lights, and then these are both the awnings. We have them in right now just because we are grilling and the grill is kind of close to the awning. 
Um, and then the three slide outs. Oh, and yeah. our tanks. So, so you can see like, and also just like, if you guys are new to RVing, uh, keep in mind, people always like seem to get upset when those don't work. Like I always hear yeah, that. None of these are working. That might be accurate. That's accurate. Like that is literally just drained. Yeah. Um, you know, all, all of these really. So especially, they're, they're especially, drained, yeah, so. especially black tank. Cause you got to think guys, how the tank sensors work is I believe it's like a, almost like an infrared light that shines. Something like and that. And so yeah. like, especially in the black tank, you know, you got like toilet paper and stuff yep. that gets on the sensor. It's going to distort it. So like with the black tank, you can do the black tank flush, which yeah. kind of helps clean that. But honestly, I, I've heard from a lot of people who've been RVing for a while that you learn almost to not trust those that much. Right. Um, especially the, the gray and black tank and right. you kind of just like feel it out like you know how much you use exactly and probably what levels it's at but yeah for sure cool up here um here is the shower i'm not gonna go in because it's still wet or do i need to go in no just take it and show oh a okay. little bit uh plenty of room in the shower i actually really like this shower um it's plenty tall enough plenty wide and deep enough it's mm. been um, you got oh, that yeah, nice little, little like just, uh, yeah, it could be a seat over there. I like it because when or I'm shaving my legs, I can like put my foot right. there. So overall, a great shower. Um, got some storage here. Again, a lot of this storage, you know, it goes really far back. It does. We don't use a whole lot of it. This one we use a little more. Washcloth, toilet paper. Yeah. Um, toilet is in a great position. Um, we do have a max air fan here. And, um, you know, obviously that helps in the shower and everything. Over here is a medicine cabinet. Yeah. With all our medicines, all even our though medicine. there's non -medi no medicines. No, but it's funny because um, when you, we're about to get to the sink and I want to tell people about my opinion with the whole sink countertop situation. Okay. Yeah. So here's the sink area. Um, here, go ahead if you want to. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we were having this discussion the other day because I'm like, it's not even just an alliance thing. It's just like, this is like this sink size is pretty comparable to what you get in most rvs like if anything it's maybe even a little bit bigger than what you see yeah and um they gave you a lot of countertop space with this vanity but i was telling will like i would much rather have a bigger sink um and have a little bit less countertop space because the fact is is like we don't keep much out on the counter here most right. of it we keep in here and that's because like when we when we're gonna leave i don't have to like put everything away right, right. so i'd rather just put stuff in there um and so it's like we don't so need as much bigger which space. way like you wish the sink came out more like that that both ways i wish it was a little bit wider and then i wish it like came out further we'll see it probably it can't come out probably any further it could this the whole countertop would have to come out because oh, it still well. needs a lip to attach to or get like a one of the farmhouse style ones where like the that whole, the whole front comes yeah. out yeah i don't know. i agree i, I don't need it any sink. wider per se but um especially like brushing your teeth and everything it like everything spills right here because yeah. especially with this vanity like when you're leaning over it pushes you right. back a little bit and i love having that the vanity with storage i actually love that so oh, i just yeah, wish the sand yeah. came out a little bit more and especially like i can't wash my face there right it would right. be a puddle all over i have to wash my face out on the kitchen sink yeah but you know overall i really like the bathroom yeah and we have tons of storage like we don't tons even like, of storage use it there all. yeah um one thing that we found too and this is not like this is just a, a size thing the bathroom is probably where we feel the most Tight. Tight. Yeah. yeah. Um, and again, you know, had we been willing and able to go up another couple feet and, and up in price range and everything, we could have got a bigger bathroom. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but for this, you know, for this floor plan, I feel like industry wide, that's probably. Yeah. For, know, for this floor plan, if you're looking at something in this range. This is probably the best you're going to get. Yeah. This is better than our Cougar. Oh, yeah. The bathroom and the bedroom, I think, is where you feel. A, yeah. Where yeah. you feel like I'm in an RV more. Yes. When, but when you get out here to the living space, to me, that feels like you're in like a, an apartment. It's really big. Yeah. So, so and we'll, you spend more time out there. So we're OK with sacrificing a little bit more here. Yeah. And we always say there's never like a perfect RV. Like there's always going to be pros and cons. Yeah. You know, had we gone with something bigger, it would have been bigger. Bigger, we way more we need a bigger truck would have been more expensive the truck would have been more expensive there's pros and cons to everything um, and for us I'd rather have the con here 
and how enjoy that living space yeah. which i totally do oh one thing we almost missed is um this for for a lot of the doors and in, interior doors they're like barn or pocket yeah. doors so this is a pocket door here which i really like because when you know obviously it's like a tighter space it's an rv yeah. and you don't have to worry about like a door swinging out or like way. the stupid door or cougar hat where it like yeah. pivots and pivots in the middle yeah, yeah. it was weird so there i like was. the pocket door and then you just latch it like when you're gonna leave yeah. it down the road um cool coming in here is here's another not pocket door but a barn door barn here. door which i like that they did here um looks really nice and everything yeah and of course you know we're trying to dry our towels and everything <laughs> yeah we still like so also i want to mention like um i know some people were commenting in some of our previous videos wanting like an rv organization video yeah um let us know if you guys are still interested in that we don't I don't have enough organization set up yet that I w I'm ready to make the video, right. but like, we're working on getting that. I mean, we've done some, but like, I definitely want to like get it a lot more organized sure. and then make a video showing you guys like the, st the tips that we're using yeah, yeah. some of the products. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, let us know and then we can definitely try to plan to do that video in the future. Cool. Um, here it is prepped for another TV. Um, it's got everything and the TV backer. You know, it's something I thought we were going to do right away, but I haven't oh. really felt the need. Oh, I mean, we don't, we we're not that big in, in yeah, the TV. We anyways. watch it out there, then we come in and go to bed and go yeah, to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, plenty of, of like, countertop space here. Nice big window here on your uh, camping side. Um, a couple drawers here. Yeah. And we here. have plenty of closed storage. We have right? plenty of closed storage, yeah. I got this little fake plant just to yep. bring some greenery in the, <laughs> into the RV. Here is the closet. Now this might be a mess. Well, number one. No, it's uh, not bad. Oh, okay. This is normally where dirty clothes are, but I just did laundry. So our clean clothes are in the <laughs> uh, hampers and we got to fold them. Yeah. But normally that looks a lot better. Uh, we love folding in this family. Yeah, honestly, it's, yeah. <laughs> well, they're probably never going to get folded. They just live out of the laundry <laughs> basket. They just live out of the laundry basket. Um, so these are Jen's clothes. <laughs> these are mine. <laughs> the funny thing is that's 100 percent accurate, isn't right. it? Okay, so here's what's going on. <laughs> that is here. so funny. Will doesn't have enough clothes. He's always running out and has to do laundry. I do. So I you do, need yeah. more clothes. And I probably brought too many clothes from our house that we were living in. And so we I We were rushing to get out. So yeah, so I just like grabbed yeah. everything. But yeah, I want to actually like go through and probably oh, donate is this my some jacket? stuff. I just put it in there. Oh, no, that's not the that's, jacket I've been missing. Oh, uh, well, that's Will's big old coat that is, like, heated. So that's Yeah, no, that's there. the small one that doesn't fit very well. And much. there's more storage that goes all the way back there. Wash and dryer prep, which, are we still going to add that? I don't know. We, if we ever. So, well, we well, we kind of decided when we bought this, there were some things like the washer dryer, the, the bedroom yeah. TV, stuff like that, where I'm like, let's use it for a while and see if we really feel the need mm -hmm. for it. Um, which so far I don't feel the need we've for washer okay. dryer because we've been in campgrounds with good and they're laundry. Expensive, honestly. Yeah, so we'll I mean we'll keep playing it by ear um, and see if we've really. Fe I I I'm seeing now that we're actually like in living in this that like it would cut a lot of like storage. It space. actually would, yeah. So yeah, we got to feel it out if we really want More it. More than I'd really like to let go, to be honest. Yeah. Because so. it would take up both sides. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, and then well, um, they also give you like like a little like you could put your sh shoes there and like it kind of cuts away so they can like go in there yeah easier if that makes sense so and these are both also barn doors yes so they shut and then if you're gonna about to leave and go down the road you just latch it and then that way they don't come apart and then you got a nice mirror here Hello, that's everybody. right <laughs> um this is my side of the bed um nice little phone holder here power and usb here um What's funny is I opened up the blinds um, back here just for this video, but we always keep them closed because it's like most of the time, like it's kind of a pain, like getting back there to close those. Yeah. And like, it's like we're coming in here just to go to sleep. So it's yeah. like, I. but it, now that we open them, I'm like, oh, it's so bright in it here. And like, you can see a palm brighter. tree outside. <laughs> right. And king size bed. King we, size bed, which we yeah. do love. And storage underneath there. Yeah, so we have our suitcases under there, a big, big blanket that my mom made for us and um some extra of our sheets. extra sheets are cooler and then this is like uh water filters for the whole oh, filtration right, yeah. system that we're gonna set up soon but but yeah like a lot of stuff that we don't use we brought the suitcase in case we have to take a quick trip and fly anywhere yeah for a recording or whatever yeah the stuff we extra don't use sheets, that much yeah there so this bed is actually 
like at first I was like, no way, this bed's not gonna work. The mattress, How do you, or the mattress. How do you feel about it? It's here's it's what stiff. I'll say. It's, it's firm. firm, and I prefer a soft mattress. But I, I, I don't wake up in the middle of the night hurting. I don't either. And I actually do. Okay. I, I, yeah, and I, I mean, like I don't feel bad when I get up. So it's like one of the. I don't know. Like it doesn't feel as great when I lay down to go to sleep. Right, right. But then I don't have like issues Once from I it. Kinda, so yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I think we are. We will probably get a soft, a thicker, softer mattress eventually. At least a topper. We do yeah. need a topper. But I like we we thought we needed it like ASAP when we bought it, and now I'm like we don't have to like put yeah. the money out immediately. So. Um. Second AC in the bedroom. Now talk about the ACs really quick. You may have noticed one in the living room was not ducted. Um, Alliance does non-ducted, but whisper quiet. The ACs are very, very quiet, which we love. Um, and they don't duct them. You, I should say they usually don't duct them. Um, this one is ducted because it does move air into the, into bathroom, the bathroom as yeah. well. Um, but they did that. So originally they came out and said, you know, hey, based on their research, they had found that, that um, it's more efficient to do it this way, where it's just in dump mode, not ducted. And um, based on their research, we took their opinion for it. Then we were at the Furion headquarters, which is just a group of engineers. Yeah, like really smart Really guys, smart engineers. But and working on this stuff 24-7. Working on ACs and stuff like that 24-7, trying to develop new products. And they were like, yeah, we keep telling everybody um, that non-ducted ACs work so much better because, and they started naming it off, you know, um, cause this is the hottest part and the way that you have to, t you know, the turns happen in an RV, yeah. the air is, the air, the cool air just doesn't flow that way. And the dumping it is so much more efficient. Mm -hmm. So that was a third party, you know, and they were saying like, yeah, Alliance does it right. We weren't specifically asking about Alliance, yeah. but they came out and said Alliance does it right. And they with just the don't know why with, with the non-ducted, they don't know why others won't jump on board. But, but what I'll say is like with their last RV with the Cougar, it was non-ducted, but the ACs were extremely so loud. loud. You can and so in that, I'm like, well, I get why you want ducted, but like this is the best of both worlds because yeah. We have these, we can have these running and it's like, you, you forget it's even on. Right. Whereas like it used to be like in our last one, it was so loud. Like you And it was you ducted. Couldn't... That one was ducted. It just wasn't a whisper quiet. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was ducted. Pretty sure it is. We have okay. to double check. Um, well, it wasn't like a roof mounted one or anything. It was like you, it did dump. It did dump as well. Oh, but it did duct some. I'm pretty sure it was ducted oh, okay. too. Yeah. But yeah, but like these are so nice because like we were saying, you can't, you barely even notice they're yeah, on. They're so quiet. You really don't. Um, and then it, like you, like Will was saying, they cool off like super quick. So yeah. Um, One other thing I forgot to mention too is Alliance is using Asdell on their sidewalls. Yes. Which I totally, totally love. Um, you know, you just never know when there's going to be a small leak or something you don't realize and with traditional luon you're going to have delamination um where the um asdel does not delaminate it, yeah it's a green based material is what i was told i really don't understand totally what it is oh i think they told us it's kind of didn't they say it was kind of a fiberglass do you remember yeah it's like a, a fiberglass, fiberglass composite okay. and so when they when they pair that with the fiberglass for the wall they pair right. really nicely together they almost like move in the same way because of the same material yeah. so as that was really really hard to work with compared to the traditional luon but again it was just you know it, it's so much better for the rv right. so one last qu quick thing we touched on like the lighting out here i just want to like show you guys in here this is the light switch and it dims in here as well yeah. which like i'm telling you we use the dimmer so much like at we night do. to be able to turn it down and just have like soft lighting is really nice um and then you do have two like reading lights up there that yeah. you like push the button to turn on those are pretty bright so we don't use them a whole lot right. um same same things in the closet there's like the little push ones and then in the bathroom it's just one light switch like off or on but as you can see this that skylight thing lets a lot of natural light in yep. so anyways well i think we've hit everything haven't we? i think so yeah all right let's go back outside and we'll okay. wrap it up with the final grand view of the rv cool sounds good we need some love before we finish the video. Oh, I saw. I had a baby boy. All right, guys, that wraps up our full tour of our 2022 Alliance Avenue 32 RLS. <laughs> um, we hope you got. We hope that you guys enjoyed the tour and it was helpful. If maybe you're looking at purchasing this soon because i know getting a really in-depth tour and a look inside like every cabinet really yeah. makes a difference if you're thinking about purchasing one um and also if you guys are interested in purchasing this um as we mentioned earlier we're part of the mass rv reviews team and we partner with um rv retailer so we can actually help you guys um buy one of these if you're looking
looking at it and get you a really, really good price. And Will can help you directly also, which yeah. is super nice. Um, so we'll put the contact information down below if you guys are, if you're interested in that, we can definitely help you. Also, we wanna give a huge shout out to Ab at Alliance. Um, you know, Alliance is just an amazing company to work with and Ab is the product manager who, you know, essentially like built these avenues and planned them all out. And right. they've been so great at like, just just helping us get into one of these um, and just being open to, to customer feedback and everything. Yeah. So and support after yeah. the sale too. Oh yeah, and know? support with since we've owned it. Like they're just an incredible company. And then also thank you to our friend Elijah at RV1. Yes. Um, if you guys don't know, we picked up our um, avenue from RV1 in Tampa and we had a great like delivery experience, yes, walk phenomenal. through and everything. And so they're a great dealership to work with if you guys are looking to purchase and you know you're you either want to come to the Florida area, which you definitely should get a little vacation out of yeah. it or if you already live here um, but again thank you guys so much for watching um, if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week for another rv tip video bye guys see ya